Here we go. When you try to fly, it's all you hit a pie. Hi everybody, this is Nick with me, myself, Android.com, and I'm here with another app review. Uh, today I'll be reviewing an application uh, called Itching Thumb, and Itching Thumb is uh, one of two things. You can use it one of two ways. Um, it can either be used as a home replacement, um, or it can be used as a task killer slash task uh, manager, because uh, I really don't like using task killers, but I like using this. So. Anyway, so the first thing you need to do when you install Itching Thumb um, is um, when you press the home screen for the first time after installing it, this will this will pop up and it says you know complete action using which home screen you know replacement you want to use. Even if you don't plan on using this as a home screen replacement, you still need to uh, check on Itching Thumb. Um, use this by default and. Um, you can still use your HTC Sense or your Launcher Pro or whatever you currently use, but I'll explain in a minute. But you definitely have to still, if you want to use Itching Thumb at all, you still need to select Itching Thumb here. So we'll select Itching Thumb, and as you can see, it still brings me right back to uh, my HTC Sense home screen. Okay, this is still rosy. Uh, in case you didn't know, that's what <laughs> the HTC Sense home screen is called. Okay. And um, I have it set up, I have Itching Thumb set up right now to come up when I double tap my home, you know, my home button. So double tap home button and there is um, Itching Thumb, okay? Now Itching Thumb will give you little card-like previews of all your applications you have open, okay? Kind of like another OS that uh, made its debut a few years ago. Uh, I think you all know which one I'm talking about. Okay, um, so go, we'll go ahead here into uh, settings. And this is where you can select all your, you know, all your uh, preferences, okay? So um, right now, like I said, I have a double click for activation. So the sense is still my home screen. But um, when I double tap the home button, it'll bring this up. That's how you, you, you would use it as a task manager or a task killer uh, or whatever. Um, if you would just like to use it as your home screen replacement, you know, disable that and this will now be used as your home screen. So when you press, let's back out of here. Okay, we're, you know, let's say the internet. You press the home screen, it's going to bring you back to here, okay? And you see that card right there is for the internet now. And yes, you can swipe to get rid of them. Just like that other OS we were talking about. Okay, so uh, let's go back into menu here. Preferences. Um, so that's how you would use it as a home screen replacement. Um, is by keeping that box checked off right there. Um, you can also change the click interval if you do have it set to uh, double tap the home button to show up you can click how fast you need to double tap that um, you can set up some gestures so in this area down here if I have gestures on let me turn it on real quick so I can show you if I have gestures on this area down here isn't uh, a spot for applications anymore it is now a spot for uh, gestures and every gesture that I have set up will open a different application or do a different task or or whatever but we don't have any set up right now if you do want to set one up all you would have to do is take the the um, card you would like to use a gesture with and bring it down down here in the bottom and then this shows up and you create the gesture so with that that's a R so R for Rosie, I guess. Whatever. I don't know if that makes any sense. So, uh, so if um, let's see here. So we're in. Uh, I'm just trying to open up a d couple different cards. So we're on this card. Oops. Oops. Ah. So we're on this card here, and anyway, you do R, and Rosie will show up. So anytime you're in. 
you know, anytime you're in here, doesn't matter what card you're on or whatever, but if you type that, you know, if you do that R, it'll bring you right to that, which is Rosie, which is the one we set up. Hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, okay, uh, my card has disappeared. I've noticed this happening a few different times. This application is still in beta. Um, it's a beta, let's see, fourth beta is what the developer's calling it, but in all actuality, this um, this application has run really smooth. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I really have not had any problems with it. You know, maybe it's just because I didn't know how to use it. Because as you see, the card's back now. So it might just have been might just have been me not knowing what the heck I was doing. So anyway, um, let's uh, open up a few applications here. We'll just open up that, and we'll open up. Uh, Oh wait, let's go back into settings here. Get gestures out of here because I like having this down here. So down here in this area, if gestures are, are off, you can put shortcuts to applications. You can put widgets. You can put um, you know folders. You know anything you could be able to put on your home screen. You know you could put in here just same way. Long press on the home screen, same way. Okay. So that's how you would use it if you were, you know, wanting to use this as a home screen replacement. You know, you could you could technically do it. I don't think I would use it like that, but you could you could. I mean, it's definitely possible, and it's definitely made that way. I prefer to use it as a task killer, um, even though I don't really like task killers. <laughs> but I do like this just because it's fun to play with. So down here, you can change. Um, you know the inertia from when you're bouncing around and you can change the style so right now we have a carousel uh, let's go to condensed I'll show you what that looks like you know kind of one in front of the other let's open up a few different things here just to get some more cards out there okay and then we'll open up this okay All right. There we go. Um, so there you go. You can see a few different cards now, and this this style will just you know put one in front of another like that. And it's kind of cool looking. Um, kind of like a fl cover art flow or something like that. Um, okay, so another one is style flat now this one is more like the webOS style where it's just flat cards did I say webOS oops all right where you just flip between the cards and to get rid of them if you're using this as a task manager you can just um, let's get rid of angry birds here just grab it and flip up okay pretty easy pretty easy all right so that is uh, pretty much it. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's preferences, see if I missed anything. Oh, um, you know, it says down here, high quality previews. I haven't checked. I've had it checked since I downloaded it. and But it says only available for rooted phones. Okay. Well, when I downloaded this, I did not have a rooted phone. And it worked just fine. This phone was not rooted I mean it, it, the high quality previews I mean it, they seemed just as high quality as they do now last night I rooted my phone and they look the exact same way as they did before I rooted it so I don't really know you know there if there was much of a difference there if you don't have a rooted phone oops down there if you don't have a rooted phone um, I wouldn't shy away from this application just because it gives you that warning it also gives you that warning in the market. Um, it says for rooted phones, but I used it. My phone was not rooted. I didn't have any problems. It worked just fine. So don't let that, you know, keep you away. Um, so uh, this was uh, itching thumb, and again, it can be used as a task killer or a home screen replacement. Um, and is available for free in the Android market. So I would suggest checking it out. 
it is um, a pretty cool one, in my opinion. All right. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Um, be sure to check out me, myself, and droid.com for all the latest uh, app reviews and uh, news. And uh, you can always follow us on Twitter. Uh, the symbol is at me, myself, and droid. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.